I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff apart. We're going to get started on our sheet metal transitioning. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. To fix this mess that, we're, that we've got going on, uh, we're actually going to, we're gonna cut here, here. We're gonna draw a line from here, from this back corner to here. And then we're gonna make a one inch line and we're gonna flange it out. Same thing with over here in this corner over here. And we're gonna flange it out. And we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. The side piece in the back on each duck is all we're gonna keep. Because this part right here and the bottom part, we're actually going to separate. We're gonna actually cut a little further up so we can do our transition. My little level here to actually make it a lot easier. Um, so I can get my level line across the back like that and then uh, I'm going to draw my line like, like so and I'm going to spin it over like so Well, you see, I got my two lines right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take the level and go there. So those are even, like that. And I'm gonna spin it around, like that. Like so. And I'll do the same thing down here. Down at the bottom. Get my line leveled. Like so. See my little bubble there? Draw my line like that. Same thing here. Draw my line there. Take my uh level, line them up, like that, then what I'll do is I'll cut this one out here, and then take the S-lock, and then make my line, so, let me do that right quick, now before I go on, let me explain something to you. The reason I did all this was because it was easier to do it inside of here than it was to go around the back because remember you can't, in a normal situation you can't get around the back. So that's why I did it like this. Alright, as you can see I have the everything cut, here's our top duct there. And I've got our, our one inch line there that we're going to fold in towards the inside of the duck. I'm going to fold the back in inside of the duck. Same way here. I'm going to fold it up and then we're going to fold this one over here up. You can't see that black line on that one, but there is one. We're going to fold it up as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take and cut up about six inches here and cut it off and same thing on the side. Cut six inches off the side and cut it out, same thing at the bottom. Cut six inches down and cut it out. And we'll start doing our transition. Um, so what we're gonna do over here, we're gonna put our S lock there, take our folding tongs, move that duck out of the way, and fold this in an inch that all right so we got that folded in an inch okay and what that's going to do is going to give our filter something to do and then uh let's go around the back We're gonna have to cut that one off a little bit. 
that on there like that. You know, I was trying to work from inside there, so let's cut that off a quarter of an inch. I don't know how I got off that much, but I did, but that's all right because uh, I can fix it. Let's take our grains. This first one that grabs hold of. the trash always goes up oh look at that the trash is going up looks like a little snake doesn't it Let's grab it like that there you go so I did use the greens get our folding tongs all that like that now that we're not gonna be able to go away so we'll finish up with the home thumb so once we get our filter on there that'll that back corner will straighten out where it'll lay flat. All right, so we're gonna do the top as soon as we did the bottom. So stick that in there, like that. And we'll go over here and then take our F, take our folding tongs. say seven inches so now what we're going to do is we're going to measure seven inches over all right so we're going to actually bend this out seven inches but now we want to go six inches up 
we want to go six inches up. So let's do our little six inch mark right there. So, now, so we got seven inches up this way and six inches that way, or up. And then what we do, get our S lock here, get our straight edge, and then we go from that seven inch mark to that six inch mark. Okay. Then what we do is we go up six inches here. We go up six inches here, like so. Take our S lock again, and then uh, draw a line across. Now it's tough to do this with one hand. Um, Alright, so we got our line across. So what we're going to do is we'll cut up, we'll cut up right here, six inches, and then uh, we're going to cut this completely out of here. And now, what we're going to do on the side, we'll get that back over there. Um, we're going to do the, the exact same thing on the side. Now, our back, our side measurement is uh, two inches. Two inches. So we'll go from the back two inches over. All right. So. As you see, we got a two inch line there and we went up six inches. And then we took our six inch line and went all the way across the duct, like that, to the corner. And it matched the other one that we did earlier. And then we have our seven inch line. Now, we're gonna cut all this out of here. All this right here is gonna get cut. And then what we're going to do is do the exact same thing down there. This is going to be mirror image down there is what it is up here. All right, folks, I made a mistake. When I said seven inches, uh, that was all the way to the, to the edge of here. And if we do that, we'll have no place to drill our hole or put our screws in. So we're actually going to have to move it back an inch. So instead of going seven inches, we're going to have to go six inches. Which is no big deal, you know. It's it's late here, and uh, I've been out all day, so so let's go ahead and make it six inches. It's only a big deal if you uh, don't catch it the first time. That's why you gotta measure twice, cut once. So. Um, so anyway, so we'll just make our, our line, it ain't no big, we'll just make our line, change our line out, and uh, that way we'll cut there instead of our, over here. So we'll mark that out, and we got to do the same thing at the back, do one inch versus two, and uh, that won't be no big deal neither. So let me mark that in the back and then uh, we'll have it right. All right, so I've got the bottom marked out, <clears throat> and uh, so now I'm going to start cutting. So I'm just going to start here.
Now it just takes brute force strength to do. Remember, we're going through several pieces of metal right there. So, all right, we got that out of the damn way. Okay. So then, what we're going to do? We're going to fold this out like that, like that. See. And then uh, take a folding tongue like that. I promise this will turn into something at the end of this. it will look like something when we're done. So we've got the same thing over here. This one's small enough that we can, we can use a folding tongs like that. And then we'll just fold the bottom over like that. So, but like I said, I promise it will turn into something. Now what we do, we get our filter. Get our filter. Set our filter on there, like so. And then uh, and we'll start putting the screws to it, so everything will stay in place. We'll start at the bottom. Get everything all lined up. I promise I'm not going to disappoint. I told y'all you wouldn't believe me. I'm going to turn this into something. So, take the screw from this corner right here. 